Hello, today I'm going to make a hexaflexagon. The templates that we've used in this video can all be found on plazoom.com. A hexaflexagon is a special card that can be folded and refolded to reveal three different faces. Each face on the hexaflexagon is made up of six triangles. To make your hexaflexagon, you either need to use the printed template or cut your own from thin card. If you use the printed template, you will need to cut it out, including the tab, which is very important, and fold it in half along the line in the middle. You can then glue the two halves together, and that will make your paper stronger and your hexaflexagon last longer. If you're going to use the single template on a piece of card, Cut out the template and use it as a guide to marking the positions of the triangles on your piece of card. This is really good practice for making accurate measurements. The more care you take when you're marking out your hexaflexagon, the better it will work. Don't forget the tab at the end of your long line of triangles. That's very important because it will hold the whole hexaflexagon together. You'll need to score your card along the line of each triangle. I find it easiest to do it with a ruler and a special scoring tool, but you could do it with a ballpoint pen that's run out or a disc, like a counter from a game, the end of a pencil if it hasn't got a rubber on it, just anything that will make a nice line in your card because that makes it much easier to fold accurately. you'll have a line of nine equilateral triangles. Cut out your card and make sure that your edges are straight and you've kept the all important tab at the end to hold the hexaflexagon together. When it's cut out, simply fold along a score line so that one straight edge lines up with the long straight edge. Flip it over and fold it again. So it's almost like a concertina fold. Keep folding along your score lines and press down well to make sure that the creases stay in place. When you reach the end, you'll need to just fold back the tab because you'll be putting glue on that later. The hexaflexagon is folded up in a very special way. Hold your sheet in front of you and then count down three triangles from the top and fold the top of the piece towards you. Count down three more triangles you'll find that you've filmed a little pocket. Count down three more triangles and fold the bottom of the strip away from you. So you've formed another little pocket. And then just tuck the top of the strip under the bottom of the strip to make your third pocket. And all your pockets should run either clockwise or anti-clockwise. It doesn't matter which way. Put some glue on the tab that you've cut at the end of your strip and fold it back onto the first piece of your hexaflexagon. And leave it time for the glue to dry before you start working your piece of card. Once you've made your hexaflexagon, you can add words or numbers, anything that you like to each triangle. I've got some word triangles that remind me of the different conjunctions I could use in my writing to make it more interesting. But you can add anything you like though, times tables, sentence starters, science questions, whatever you would like to remember. The great thing about these hexaflexagons is they don't take up much room on your desk. There's a lot of information hidden inside each hexaflexagon. It's just on one piece of card 
that can handily tuck inside a school book or your book bag and it's easy to find because it's an unusual shape. It takes up much less space than a worksheet and when I'm finished it can sit at the edge of the desk ready for when I need it again. The templates that we've used in this video can all be found on plazoom.com. This includes templates for things like times tables and number bonds, which can be added to help you practice these skills. For example, our writing templates include reminders for children to include a variety of features in their writing, such as lists for different connectives, adverbs and openers, as well as editing prompts.